I've drilled the centre of that gear to match the shaft that we've got, or the axle we've got. I've got some thin drinking straws here that I'm cutting to length to go over the axle. And then I'm going to push these back on and then I'm going to hot glue the drinking straws in place in there to stop the axle going side to side. But I do need to cut a hole in the bottom there now to allow the gear to go through. cut a slot out there. I should think a sharp knife will do that. Cut a little bit out the back as well. Okay, that should do the job. So I'll turn the hot glue gun on and we'll glue that in place. Right, we'll let that cool down and then we'll try and fit the motor in there so it actually drives it. While we're at it you might be able to see, if I get the light right, I've put some bits of drinking straw on the front axle just to space it and stop it sliding in and out quite so far. And I cut up one of these popsicle sticks be the right width to go across the inside of here and then I can hot glue the motor onto it.
that's quite handy because that's going to wedge itself in place and then I can add the glue afterwards. So I'll glue that onto there first. problem with hot glue in a motor onto anything is when the motor gets hot the hot glue melts. We need to adjust the position of the motor so that it's touching the gear at the right angle. So that should be okay. So I'll put some hot glue in there to hold it still. The obvious place to put the battery is in the front here, but we don't want to have it resting on the front axle. So I think the easiest thing to do is cut another bit of popsicle stick, the right size, and push it down there so it's above the axle so nothing can actually touch the axle. So that's just to stop the battery resting on the axle. Because I usually use these rechargeable batteries, they happen to have um, ferrous, I suppose you call it, uh, terminals that magnets stick to. So I quite often solder the power wires onto these magnets and I can just make connection easily like that. That's what I'm going to do here. But if you have a different type of battery you may find the battery sticks to one end but it doesn't stick to the other so this might not work for you but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it because it works, it works well for me.
These are magnets I've used before, so they've already got solder on them. Probably doesn't do the magnets any good, but they're good enough for me. Now we need to put the top on and work out how we're actually going to switch it on and off. What I usually do is just allow it so that I can pull the magnet off to make it work. That's not going to reach that way. If I drill a hole in the front there, I can connect my magnet that way. So I'll drill a hole just there. So, nice big hole there. I think that battery is a bit flat actually, so I might change that before we go and run it downstairs. That looks like it works though, doesn't it? <laughs> Not enough grip though to force it up over. Yeah. We'll go and run that though. Downstairs. <laughs> 